Whoa. I heard an Enderman. Where is the Enderman? Oh, there's the Enderman. Oh, goodness. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Um, I'm not going to mess with you. Because notice, I have a whole stack of Ender Pearls. Um, I could set up a safe area for you and take care of you, but I'm not going to. So, um... Yeah, so I think it's time that we uh, get on top of the nether. I've got stuff here. I think I have everything I need. Um, yeah, and I've got more stuff in my pocket, and we just need to go. Um, see you later, dude. So, whoa, that's loud. Okay, so, um, not super ready to start on. Oops. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, not super ready to start on a gold farm or anything yet, although I could certainly use it. But. I, I dug my way up here off camera. Uh, oh, welcome to the Minecraft land party server, if I didn't already say so. So I dug my way up here and uh, just chose a point and dug straight up. Had some fire resistance potions, had to deal with a little bit of lava. But I got super lucky because this is... 127 looking at minus 42 minus 36 127 so let's uh, so I want to retrieve I want to remember that uh, minus 42 minus 36 all right so uh, so I dug up here I got super lucky in that the point where I chose to dug went all the way up to the very roof of the nether the very top layer of bedrock been looking around for a space to do the next bit and didn't entirely find one but I found this spot here and I believe this is going to work I believe it's gonna work I hope so um, we're gonna try it and this could go super well or it could be super bad i'm very nervous uh so we're gonna try to get up so this is also I'm looking at 127 so this is also the very roof and basically there's a there is a process that will allow you to break bedrock even though they patched the dark oak trick there's another one and it uses the update process of pistons and it feels like it's one they might decide to patch. Since 193 will be coming out shortly, I figured it's a good idea to take care of it now. So, this here, I put in a couple blocks. This should work. It's a little tricky, but let's give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, okay, uh, Ender Pearls now have a cooldown period. So, ready? Woohoo! And I took no damage. Very cool. Ha! Huh. Welcome to the roof of the nether. Let's go find our uh, spot now. Minus 42. Minus 36. Was that correct? Is that it? Minus 2. Minus negative 42. Minus negative 36. Okay. Sweet. So I, uh, there's a whole process here. Um, you've probably seen it. I have 
and her chest full of materials here or full of supplies which I'm gonna go place down over here out of the way so we need a bunch of things um, I'm gonna hang on to some of this and we need to do that and I need a piece of slime and I need a piece of slime and I need some of this and I need some of this and oops and I need some of this and I need some of this and um, need some of this I've gone way overboard on these but uh, I wanted to make sure that I didn't get up here and not have enough so here's what we're gonna do I don't need this at the moment I need a couple sticky pistons hello airplane all right so we're going to do this uh, so I will link in the description to a, an, a tutorial on how to do this an explanation of why it works and it has to do with the way pistons sticky pistons in particular do their update so when they push or pull a block they do a thing where they uh, essentially delete the block that they're pushing or pulling and then then extend or retract the head of the piston and then do their uh, need all this stuff and then and then do their extension and retraction and they do their block update so this takes advantage of a number of things um, the first one is and they're all very timing sensitive so I, there's 10 repeaters here each on four ticks so that's 40 ticks total which is four seconds and I need redstone uh, I have redstone oops I have plenty of redstone uh, so four seconds and what happens is this if I know I don't need those anymore probably gonna run out of space here so don't do that I'm still a little nervous from that uh, ender pearl thing so this when I throw this switch it triggers off this chain and four seconds later sticks this pistons head out and then um, I need a crafting table but I have wood here so we can do that and I'm gonna take some of that iron and I'm going to craft a couple of oops oh put the crafting table down I'm gonna make two mine carts yeah so minecart TNT TNT minecart <clears throat> minecart TNT and the TNT came from all the desert temples okay so so TNT minecart two sticky pistons four seconds of delay when I throw this switch, it's going to ignite the TNT in the minecart, and four seconds later, exactly, it's going to blow up. The uh, cobble wall here will slightly shield, will prevent the pistons themselves from being blown up by the TNT. But what will happen is this: I come here, throw it, boom! Sweet. Now notice this piston. Um, this piston notice it's missing its head <laughs> it's actually extended and if I do this sticky piston extended true nice so we want to keep that extended so I need some more redstone I'm sorry I should have been a little more prepared here so 
if we take this piece of redstone and we stick it here diagonal from the piston that's going to keep that that piston powered or bud powered now i can turn this off and four seconds later that redstone will go out and the piston is still extended perfect that's what we need so now i need to put another block right here <clears throat> and another tnt minecart here and do this and four seconds later oh shoot no 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 oh dang okay i did not do that right this is why i brought extras of everything okay this is still the right block right minus 42 minus 36 it was the right order right yeah okay i brought extras i brought a lot of extras because i figured i was going to goof something up because the sequence is really critical that all be done in the right sequence in the right way i forgot to put down the cobblestone walls so you saw what happened the the pistons got blown up by the by the explosion and i have more I need another one of those <clears throat> and we'll make two more of these all right two and we'll make one of those ah waste of tnt but hey it's bound to happen right okay so Make sure this is turned off. Cobblestone walls are in place. And we place the TNT. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. Nope. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, you can retract. Okay. As I said, the sequence is kind of important. Okay, let me get this first step done and then I'll uh, I'll come back. Oh boy, that was a little nerve wracking. I heard a ghast. But I think the gas is below us. I have created some spawning opportunities here, but we're going to remove them when we're done. And we're pretty close. We're not going to go very far away. So we should be okay. All right. So we need to bud power that piston. And now we can turn off this. And in fact, we need the switch. And we need... We need some of these guys. Remove this, remove this, remove this. So the next step is, so see, these guys are still, whoa. These guys are still extended technically. Now we need a couple of regular pistons. Fortunately, I've got plenty and we need one, two, three, four, five. Whoop. And so we need one here facing down, which is a little tricky, right? Because you have bedrock in the way. Normally you would have to get below the bedrock and look up in order to place it. But so we will have to do something like this put a block in between and do that again and now we can remove that remove that remove that okay pick up all our pieces and then the other piston we want to go there so we have a piston here facing up piston here facing down now we have to put into place a number of repeaters and the timing is critical on these. All 
right? So. Okay, so we have two repeaters here, each on one tick. We have a repeater here on two ticks, and we have two repeaters here, each on one tick, but separated by a piece of dust. So what's going to happen is, when I put down this and activate it, this guy's going to extend, right? And these guys are still extended. Um, so that's exactly what you expect to see. Now I'm going to remove these redstone blocks. Right, because they are powering it, bud powdery, and we don't want that. So now, when I un, when I turn this off, what's going to happen is, uh, in a very specific sequence, all three of these are going to retract because these are sticky pistons. It's going to pull him in here, facing down, and and it's going to extend. And because of the sequence in which all this happens, it's going to end up deleting that piece of that that be, be, bit of bedrock okay doesn't look like much but it is done and we can clean up after ourselves come on there we go and I get the two sticky pistons back we lose one regular piston in the process and of course, two minecart uh, TNT minecarts. And I bought plenty of extra obsidian, although the 10 obsidian that I used for this wall, and I made it too high here so I could stand behind it and protect myself from the explosion. Um, because if I needed to, I could make a portal out of this and get back home without having to die. So. Um, here's our obsidian. We get most everything back. I need some ladders. Do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. So we don't need a lot of this stuff anymore. That's fine. So we'll pick. We are silk touch, right? Yep. Pick that up and break this. We don't want anything up here. The stupid gas can, uh, Can spawn on top of so we break this <sighs> we have a hole in the bedrock and it's precisely <laughs> where I dug up this is so cool now I can go back down and go back to my house everything's good very noisy so anyway just wanted to show you that I'm probably gonna go and do the same thing in in uh, Chihuahua land I just have to find a place to do it I won't record that so much um, is that Enderman still here I don't hear. Oh. Okay. So there we go. Uh, we now have a way up onto the roof of the nether, which is awesome because we can we can build stuff there. Um, I know that uh, Mojang doesn't really want people going up there. Oh, hello. Oh, this is my this is my mushroom farm. Uh, M Mojang doesn't really want people going up there, and I understand why it's you know it's sort of thematically it's the roof of the of the world in the same way that the uh the bedrock at the at the bottom of the world is the bottom and it kind of implies that the uh it kind of implies that the you know that the nether sits underneath the world and that's all well and good uh, but honestly, there's 128 blocks of space, buildable space, above the the nether. And it's kind of a shame that they keep making it so that there's no way to get there. Um, I, again, I, I understand that they, they want to make it, they want to make it, uh, 
that way because that's kind of the way they originally designed it but it, it seems like they they really should rethink that uh, and make a maybe make it difficult but make a legitimate way to get up on top of the nether so anyway uh that's it um sorry for all the noise in the background <laughs> not quite sure what's going on uh but uh thank you for watching and i will see you next time all right bye